So the very first reaction you had to make some predictions with was magnesium nitrate and sodium sulfate. So I've set them up like this so I can show you how they look like with their molecules. So magnesium nitrate, and magnesium has two positives with it. Nitrate has one negative. So you actually need two nitrates to fill in the magnesium's two positives there and cancel out the charge. So that's what magnesium nitrate looks like as a compound. Magnesium and two nitrates joined together with bonds. Sodium sulfate is the other one we're reacting. Sodium has one plus charge for each ion, but sulfate actually has a charge of minus two. So for these guys to work, you actually need two sodiums to cancel out the charge on that sulfate. So that's actually what that compound is when you look at it. Two sodiums joined to one sulfate ion. Okay, so now let's think about if we combine these two. The very first thing you have to do is figure out what possible products they could make. Because these are our reactants. What could they make? Now this is a theory. You don't know if they are going to switch partners and stay there. They may not want to. But this is what we think could happen. That these partners here are going to split and move over to here. And this partner over here is going to split and come over to here. So theoretically, the magnesium could combine with the sulfate to cancel out perfectly because you've got two plus and two minus. And the sodium could combine with the nitrate and again, they'll cancel each other out because each one is worth plus or minus one. So your theoretical equation would be, your products would be magnesium sulfate, sodium nitrate. However, notice this. We've only got one magnesium, one sulfate here, one compound. But the sodium and the nitrate, we actually have enough to make two pairs of sodium nitrate because you only need one sodium and one nitrate to form that compound but I had enough to make two of them so when you're writing out the formula the products would be magnesium sulfate Mg brackets SO4 brackets but you've got two sodium nitrates so your formula would be 2 Na then brackets NO3 brackets you got two of this whole compound here okay that's the formula you would write and the word equation now we have to make a prediction as to whether or not we're going to see any sign of a precipitation reaction where a solid is formed Okay, so right now these guys are just floating around in the solution. We are predicting whether or not when we combine them, whether one of these are going to join together and literally drop out of the solution as a solid because they're so stable. We need to make that prediction using the table that I showed you. They might, we need to go and have a look firstly at the sulfates. It says that most sulfates are soluble. They don't drop out of solution and form a solid. The only ones that do are lead, nit are lead sulfate, barium sulfate or calcium sulfate. The rest of them don't form a solid when you mix them. So this guy here, magnesium sulfate, it, from that table it says that he is not going to form a solid and drop out of the solution. Again, with the nitrate on your table, it says that all nitrates remain dissolved. They're soluble. No nitrates form a precipitate and drop out of solution. So from that table, I'm predicting that when we mix these, we won't see a solid forming because that table tells me that this guy, the sulfates, magnesium sulfate and sodium nitrate, they won't form a solid and drop out of the solution. Let's just see. We're going to do equal amounts again, but I'm going to do it in the middle here so you can see. Let's have a look really close and see if you can see any sign of a solid forming. I certainly can't. That looks as clear as the substances I put in there to begin with. So I would say no precipitate is formed. 
when I combine those two. They're not recombining to make a precipitate and have something fall out of the solution. So that is your first reaction. 